Drake pulled one of the best moves of all time uh, yesterday, and uh, I'm a huge, huge fan. So NBA playoffs are in full swing. Uh, Ja Morant has been uh, the funnest superstar to watch. Young kid, his father looks like Usher. Um, looks like oh, Usher yes. so much that Usher went to the game. They dressed alike, sat courtside. Um, it was really fun and funny and, and everything else. There was some people online that are pissed off that, uh, that his dad is smiling, having a good time on the court and everything else. I personally don't understand um, at all because that's your son and he's an NBA superstar. Yeah, dude, you're going to be proud of your kid no, courtside. No no. no, no, his dad's his biggest hater. He says it all the time. Every time he has a good game, his dad brings him back down. That, that should, but that should be the case, right? Any good father should do that, where it's like, hey, dude, you can always be better. You can always be better. You can, I, my personal theory on this is you can always look back at your life later and enjoy the accomplishments and all that other shit. But like in the moment, if you're working on being the best, I enjoy him and all of that whole shit. I think he's a great father because uh, I believe he had the, the, his son super young and had to make a choice of like, all right, do I go play NBA Europe? I believe he was offered to go and play over there. Um, or do I stay here and, and raise my, my child and, and, uh, and be the best father I can be and then train him to become a legend, which is what he ultimately did. So, dude, enjoy all of it. I think it's fucking rad. And the kid's really Sorry, people well-mannered are, and everything else, Scott. People are mad that he's happy on the... Yes, yeah. Because of his... Son, yeah. Well, yeah, why? What is the connection? What, why, why? Are they, why are they mad that he's happy? They're saying the dad is taking up some of the son's limelight because he's joking around courtside. And it's like, uh, have ever heard of the balls? Yes. Yeah. So, so uh, I'm, uh, great segue. I'm glad you brought that up. So then everybody has reminded them, hey, dude, remember the ball dad? Like that guy's having a, a goddamn blast himself. And it's like he raised three NBA children, essentially. Let him have a good time. Who cares? Um, I don't have a problem with any of it, to be honest with you. Um, and, and Drake took offense to it as well. What, he posted on this Instagram feed for the NBA and just said, dude, let this fucking guy raise his kid and enjoy it. Like, enjoy his kid being a superstar. It feels like there's more to the story. There like, isn't. Oh. There really isn't. Okay. And, and it's just basic fucking internet trolls and hatred for no fucking reason whatsoever. Like, dude's a great father. He's enjoying his son in the NBA playoffs. Like, let him live his life. It's yeah. fine. So Drake commented on somebody's Instagram feed and said the exact same thing. Hey, dude, just let this fucking man enjoy being a father and enjoying this and, uh, and everything else. And I, I think he said something like, you know, we wish more black fathers were like this or something, something to that effect, you know? Mm -hmm. Something unbelievably positive. One fucking asshole gets on there and was like, oh, yeah? I bet you're probably hanging out with, your son's going to be hanging out with ghostwriters because Drake's been accused of having ghostwriters for his songs. Mm -hmm. Drake took it to another level. The level that I like, the pettiness level that I love in this life. That wasn't even a sick enough burn to like do anything. It's enough. It's enough, right? Because it had nothing to do with that, that post or anything else. Sure. So Drake found that guy and then went into his whole Instagram life, which it is a life behind that world. And you're like, oh, all right, cool. Sure. Found the guy's wife, mm -hmm. friended her. Drake has no friends on Instagram. Friended just her. And then DM'd her and said, uh, you good, Ma? Mm. Are you <laughs> I like. This guy then screenshots it and sends it out to the world. Drake's DMing my wife. And it's just applause all the way around for Drake on that one. Like, huge fan. Ring the fucking applause. There it is. It's what we have it for, people. That's what we have it for. Drake's an MVP for that move. I'm a big fan. I that means like he just took the time in bed that night and was like, oh, fuck, fuck me. No, 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 no. Fuck you. And he I'm going to go through your whole history. He follows 2,700 people. Oh, does he really? Yeah. Shit. Well, I was incorrect in that. But that's, that's still... That's a lot. Eh, for Drake? Let's, yeah. Let's face it. It's not. I follow like 200. Hang on. I'll tell you... Let me look at my... And I have nowhere near Drake's following at all. It's all about the ratio. It is. Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell you why. So right now I'm following 658, and that seems like a lot to me, right? But that is a lot. It is. But I'll you tell you, I'll tell you why, up. and this is, this is my defense for Drake then having that. <laughs> when you have this many guests on your shows all the way around, 
you end up following each other yeah, when you're yeah, yeah. here and you don't want to seem like an asshole when somebody follows you and you're like, all right, great. And there's so many business concepts that I'm sure Drake has mm -hmm. that it far exceeds anything that I will ever have. And uh, I understand that 2700 now. Okay. And, and if that, you have a guest who like comes to the studio and Ross follows you, he like really means it. Yeah. 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 Cause there's yeah. a lot of people I don't follow. Right. I'm like, I don't want to see. Well, out show. of the 200 that I follow, a hundred are muted. <laughs> so, is that true? Yeah, I'm a muter. I don't like to unfollow because I don't want anyone to like feel bad. Okay. But I don't like you, your stories in your life. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Or gotcha. anything you have to say or pictures of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for certain people. Sure, sure. And I understand that. And so, like, it's, it's kind of a game of like, oh, Jesse's not popping up on my stories. Let me check. Oh, she's still following me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're uh, checking who's checking out your stories still? No, I don't. Oh, okay. I don't do any of that shit. But do people do that? I think so. How oh, would yeah. they know if I muted them, right? There's no other way. Yeah, so I... Man, I can't say who this is. Um, it's one of our closest friends. Uh, his uh, former girlfriend, who is uh, pretty well known, he... The reason why they were arguing all the time and kept getting in fights was she was just up late at night looking at everyone who watched her stories and everything else. Like, she wanted to know and was, like, oh, oh, oh. mad if people didn't watch her stories oh, okay, or watch her okay. shit and was mm -hmm. always checking insights and everything else. And it was sure. like, man, that shit lasts for, like, 24 hours. Like, I don't have fucking time for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At all. Yeah. Um, shit, man. That's too much. That's aggressive. Kevin Walters just threw a 50 out of us. Oh. Said, appreciate the shout what? outs. Uh, it hasn't been active on the chat, but, uh, you know, congrats to Jay Fire and the baby. Baby's not here, and I blame that on Jesse. Yeah, you can blame, blame me. Blame that on Jesse. I'm, I'm a hippie. Yeah, we got to get some spicy shit today. jiggle, jiggle. We got to get some, some, some like spicy lady, shit. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> you fucking dummies. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, Cardi B. <laughs> no. Who is that? It's a TikTok. Yeah, it's a TikTok internet thing. Yeah. How much time are you on TikTok? You know a lot about TikTok. No, I don't. Yeah, I'm you do. Like, I'm just like young and hip. You know all the songs, all the videos, everything else. Do you have a TikTok? <laughs> no, no. I get it the old lady way, which is once people take it from TikTok and put it onto Instagram. <laughs> so I've gotten it like years late, right? So if I say that, that means that it's been hot and gone on TikTok already. Okay. Because I do, I do it on the Instagram. We have one for Drinking Bros Podcast. Um, we have a full disclosure. We have a social media girl who posts it. So like... I don't ever and see she's that. Young and I'm just not on. I'm not on TikTok. No, no, no. That's no. like, I try to keep it basic enough where it's like, all right, great. Facebook uh, private groups is about as far as I go on Facebook anymore too. Like I'm yeah. just, I'm done with that. Yeah. Instagram I still like. Uh, I don't like that they're recommending people for me that I don't follow. Super pissed off about that. Well, no. No, dude. It's what like, is, why is there any skin off your dick? Because the algorithm is wrong. So I'll wake up and it'll be these super fucking positive, like, uh, Pinterest quotes on there that it's like, today's the day you turn a new leaf. You'll find yourself. Yeah. You'll be inside yourself and look out at others in a new light. And it's like, no, dude, that's not the algorithm for me at all. Like, right. switch that shit up. Um, yeah, I don't, and maybe it's because I was talking about Jesus the other day. I don't really know. Mm. Like, cause they're listening to all the shit. And I'm like, man, do I need to start talking about more aggressive shit? Tim Kennedy did a, a video, I think yesterday, the oh, day before yeah. on his wife's phone where he was just talking about all the things that he wanted to follow on there. Right. And that's what it should be. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that is funny. Yeah. I've done that before. If I'm, uh, cause I shop on Instagram, they get me like with their ads, like with the, you know, colorful all something the time. all yeah, the, the time. The like old, the retro bag cooler that I need for summer. Um, so if I can't find it, I'll just like talk around my phone about like what it is, hoping that it'll pop up. And it really does. <laughs> Where I'm like, oh, retro cooler. Um, yeah. California, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we know I'm into it. But anyway, um, good for you, Drake. I think it's a money I love move. That you're it's a money move. I, lo I love the pettiness of it. I love petty shit like that. Because um, I, I do like it. I like the hot sauce one. Well, you I, I do it. What he did to fucking, he does this all the time. Uh, the time, I want to say Tony Parker <laughs> had to miss some games because he got uh, glass in his eye because Drake started a fight 
at a club between him That's and Chris right. Brown. Yeah. Because he sent a bottle of champagne to Chris Brown while he was dating Rihanna, while Drake was dating Rihanna, with a note that said, I'm fucking the love of your life. Yep. Gosh. And then Chris yeah. Brown... That's like, not even a troll. That's just like a there was massive and aggressive, yeah. massive yeah. lawsuits that came out of that fight. Yeah, and like Tony Parker, like literally went on the injury list or whatever because he caught a stray. Yeah, oh, he caught a shit. piece of glass to the eye, and uh, that's that, not subtle. That's not trolling. If memory serves me correct, I think the club owner had to shut down and go into bankruptcy because there were so many lawsuits that night.